today we're talking about crosses on the palm and on the lines. Move on with this lesson. We'll start with a cross on the mercury mount. And as by this image, you can see that the mercury mount is under the pinky. Now, what that means, if it's on the mount, is that there may be some issues or problems in communication or in business. So traditionally, um, that is one of the marks of someone who's a bit dishonest. So it could be a dishonest businessman, for instance. Next, cross on the Mount of Apollo. So the mount beneath the ring finger. Now don't forget, if, if there is a line that rises from up here, if there's a line that comes across there, that's not a cross. The cross has to be independent on its own as per picture here. So a cross on the Apollo Mount shows some kind of a loss of reputation or frustration in the pursuit of success or happiness because the Mount of Apollo represents happiness and social life, etc. So a cross there might just indicate that <clears throat> something may have happened to affect the person's reputation. Next, we have the cross on the Saturn Mount and the Saturn is the Mount under the ring finger. Now that can depict a challenging situation in career, in family, it, it can vary, but it's depicting something is challenging the person at the time. And don't forget, it has to stand on its own. And these crosses can come and go. They're usually quite faint and they appear for periods of time. Sometimes they stay permanently, sometimes they go away. So it can depict some form of tragedy as well because it's under Saturn. Saturn is a little bit um, melancholy and a little bit more serious as far as that goes. Where's my next button? There we are. Next, we have a cross on the Jupiter Mount. Um, traditionally, a cross on this mount is depicting a secure marriage with a supportive partner. So it's slightly different. Now, cross on the outer Mars, because this is that area when the person is very resilient. It shows resilience. Um, so if that should be quite free of any marks on that area. And if there's a cross there, it is supposed to represent somebody who's quarrelsome and obstinate. So they're not, they're not being very easy to get along with. Next on the Mount of Moon, the moon does represent your intuitive, your nurturing, your female side. There's a lot of meanings to the Mount of Moon, but on it, it can show um, an overactive imagination. Uh, someone who tends to exaggerate, or it can actually represent a fear of travel over water or a fear of, for instance, being in a boat, just fear of deep water. So just because you might have this fear doesn't mean you need to um, accept it. Next, cross on the Venus Mount. The Venus is, represents all about love and family and um, beauty, things like that. So a cross here shows that the person might not be that happy in love. Now, I think I've got one more. Now, marriage line. A cross on the marriage line depicts a problem in the marriage. So it may be 
uh, that they are uh, the couple if they are married are having issues or if the person is not married it might depict that the person is struggling to find a partner on the success line because that represents success and happiness that too can depict a loss in reputation or some kind of a loss in their pursuit of success so they, they have an obstacle towards that goal so crosses are rarely uh, good signs on the Saturn line or the career line if it's right on the line that represents some kind of a risk of a material loss which means financially or materially like some kind of assets if not, it can depict obstacles in uh, career because crosses are nearly always um, obstacles. On the headline, it affects the thinking. So there's some kind of a self-deception or something has prevented the person from being able to think clearly temporarily. There is an obstacle in thought. On the lifeline itself, if there's a cross that is a problem that can relate to any part of life really but it is showing that there is a um, some kind of a hardship or struggle and you got to be careful if it's just a line that crosses that is a small obstacle but if it's an actual cross sitting on the line like you can see the cross not that big but if you can see an actual cross so that is showing uh, some kind of a hardship period it could be related to anything you can look elsewhere on the other lines on what might be affected are the emotions affected looking at the heart line or if the mentality is affected so look at the headline and other areas you look at Mount Venus for loss of energy or the moon for nurturing etc if the person has stopped caring okay so a cross on the health line now that obviously because it is called a health line that is depicting some kind of a health problem so more than likely um, a condition that's not ordinary to that person and lastly there is this cross down here which is in between the fate line and the lifeline and that cross represents somebody who can save lives so it's called the saint andrew's cross and it can be quite large it can be quite small i think that's the end of my lesson i shall click on this and if it goes to the end i shall catch you later have a good day